Assalamu alaikum. My name is Fatma and I am reading lesson number 2, Our Village. Once, Anjum's father was very tired of his office work. He didn't know what to do. His wife suggested him to take a few days, leave from, leave from his, his office and visit his parents in Nurpur village. He would be refreshed by living in the village. After a few days, he would return home quite fresh to take up his work again. The next day, Anjum's father reached the beautiful village, Nurpur, situated on the bank of canal. His parents were overjoyed to see him. His other relatives also gathered to welcome him. A village is a peaceful, calm and quiet place. In the village, life is refreshing and inspiring as there is no noise and rush of traffic. Pakistan is a land of village. Almost 70% of our total population lives in the village. The population of a big village may go to 5,000 or 6,000, but a small village usually have a population of 2,000 people or less. The villagers live in the simple houses. Every village has masjid where people offer namaz. Some of the smaller villages do not have electricity. The villagers have green trees in and around their houses. The tree provides shady sitting places in the summer afternoons. Usually, a small village does not have hospitals, high school and post office. High schools are in nearby towns and the bigger villages. Mostly people living in the four of villages are not educated. A teacher of a village primary school takes care of the postal needs of the villagers. He also reads and writes letters for them. Most of the villages have one or two wells. Village women do the tiresome duty of fetching water from these wells. They also work with their male family members in the fields. Men are mostly farmers who do the work of sowing, growing and harvesting crops. It is altogether a hard and tiresome work. A village has a rural health center where patients are checked and given medicines. A village normally have a small shops situated here and there for shopping in bulk.